Okay, hello. Welcome back to another one of my videos. I hope you're doing well. I'm very excited today. We are starting a new series. Now that I've completed um, Martha is Dead, we're going to be playing The Wolf Among Us, which, yes, I am extremely late to the party. I can't remember when the, this game came out. I can have a quick look. But it's a Telltale game. Um, and, yeah, made famously, they did Walking Dead. They did... Oh, 2013. Uh, yeah, they did Walking Dead. They did... Guardians of the Galaxy, um, to name a few. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands was theirs as well, so I played that. This is... Oh, and Batman, but I, d I didn't play that one. I don't think that one was as good. I've not played this one. I think this one's meant to be like one of the best ones. So, um, yeah, so this series, like Martha is Dead, is going to be more of a story narrative-driven series rather than horror games. That'll be uh, in separate videos, but yeah, I hope you're going to... Come and watch along with me. I'm very interested in what the game's going to be like. So let's get into it. And yeah, subscribe if you're new. And like the video if you enjoy this game. So let's start episode one. I don't really know much about it. Um, at all. To be honest. So you're going to learn at the same time as me. But yeah, it's all about choices. So no playthrough is, or, you know, not many playthroughs are usually the same. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf, which I think is us, protects them from each other. Right, so it's in New York and there are fable characters disguised as normal people. Rule five today again if you missed it. A record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now and that humidity looks low but remember the hotter the air is the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. I look tired. It's because I've not long woken up. But this game would be easier for me to start with then. Um, horror games to record, so it's going to be a wake me up. A wolf among us. I love the Walking Dead series. If you haven't watched any other Telltale games, I'm sure you have. Brilliant. Sometime after midnight, tenement building. Oh. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I think I'm a hard I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Oh, you can't send me up to live with those animals. That was quite savage. I didn't you know realize. what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I, I don't make, make the, the rules. rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Jesus. Fuck you now. I feel like it's for his own See? Good. This is what I called you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. So, what am I walked into? What am I walking into exactly? A uh, woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. 
Why is it worse? set him off. Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Interesting. I want to turn the subtitles on. I turn the do. Yes, I can. Sorry, I want to turn the subtitles on. Okay. All right. Back to the game. Back to the game. Furry prick of shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. <laughs> then get the fuck back inside. Hmm. It's difficult to make decisions so early on when you don't know what your character's already been like, I guess. It's up to me to shape him. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, okay. look at me. Just stop, okay? You're drunk. Let's go. Just gonna take my time. Right. Take a look. Take a good look. No, 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 no. no. Let's, let's, let's do that. Would have been more Damn you. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! hey. You yeah. got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> oh! Oh, you want some? What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Shit. Okay. All right, I'm slow. I was too engrossed in the story. Get off. Get off. Punch you in the throat. Bastard. In there. Back off, asshole. Yeah. Fuck you. Into the sink. I've given him a weapon. I've given him a razor. No less. Slowed down, I thought he'd had enough. Oh. Trying to kill me. How dare you? He's done. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Mm. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. 
Don't make this more difficult than it lady has to be. Lady of the be. night, are you? Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. Oh. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey. You going? What did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. Come on. What the, I wasn't aware that I was choosing that as an option. Jeez. So I am the sheriff to keep all of the fairy tale people oh, in line. It's a very unique premise. Oh, hello. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Feel Sorry bad for how I was with him. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Get off me, learn to stop. Oh my god, what am I doing? I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. He thinks I'm the wolf? Put you out of your misery. You fucking lumbro. I'm losing. I'm losing. Oh. Oh no! New Book of Fables entry unlocked. That was in the pause menu. My eyes went yellow then. And my surname is Wolf. And he doesn't like us. Oh my god, he's still alive. Okay. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. What does he owe you? Is it back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. Mm. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Mm -mm. Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got oh. an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you. How? Fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's had enough. He's a Stop. fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. So, yeah. Fairy tale characters or fables can seem a bit superhuman. Ew. Lips are sealed. Sorry. Mm, you can tell she wants to hey, tell us, but can't. You like my ribbon? <laughs> nice change of the subject. Stop changing the subject. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. 
Mm. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> Sorry. Someone's missing their cat. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. No. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? <laughs> Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. Hello. Where you I... live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. <laughs> wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. Well, what was that look? I need to tell you something. Okay. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Like a backhanded compliment. Every everyone's slagging you off, but I think I'll you're see okay. You Wolf. Okay, we've made a friend, even if she is a prostitute. A friend's better than no friends. I love the art style. Always have done, even though this is an old game. Still holds up. Okay. Good intro. There we go. Achievement unlocked, so that's the intro of the game. <laughs> Where is this going to take us? I'm assuming we're just going to be involved in numerous situations where we have to make a decision that will then impact who we're friends with and who we're not. And we seem to be a wolf that we're not allowed to show. Episode 1, Faith. How many episodes are there? Five episodes. Oh, sorry. Five episodes. So we're on episode one. <laughs> What's this? Okay, so these are the apartments that I live in. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Is that a bit misleading? Oh, I want to look at the fables in the pause menu. Let me do that really quick. Book of Fables. Oh, okay, so that just shows us the characters that we've unlocked. So he is the woodsman, one of the few men who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bigby in his Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the Great Wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him, like he said. What about Mr. Toad? Is he Wind in the Willows guy? 
Um, is he's three and a half foot talking amphibian. It's required by Feeble Town Lord to keep his family and himself magically glamour to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't too concerned with what the... Uh, with what the... Law is and has to be reminded often. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I felt a bit harsh on Toad, but like, you also can't, you know, if the rule is there to like, you need to pretend to be human, you can't really excuse it. <laughs> Who's this? Come on out. Come on out. Is she wearing a little red riding hood? No. All right. All right. Beauty. Oh. Hello, Big As in, B. and the beast. Oh, I am Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. Okay, I forgot. I um, know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. I'm late. Weird, why are you skulking? Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot I'm easier. I don't want to get involved. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. See, so yeah, I'm only just catching up. I forgot my first name is Bigby. So if I'm Bigby Wolf, then it's I was the wolf. It's not what you might be thinking. In Little Red Riding Hood, which is why that guy who was the hunts woodsman said, that's not how it went down last time, because he obviously killed me. And then you got this whole situation going on. No idea, so I can't weigh in and promise Beast I won't tell him, because I don't know what's going on. Could be important for him to know. <laughs> don't want to make any rash decisions, so I will just say, don't want to get involved. Okay. Let's have a little gander in the mailbox. Been a while since I got any mail. Mm. Wanna check? Seventh day in a row. Never mind. What's that? Building directory. Oh shit! The so Mr. So the beast. Let me see, because it goes quite quickly. The only name I recognised there was the beasts, right? Yeah, B Beard, K Cole, B Blue. So they also live in our apartment building. I don't want to touch the super helmet, because that's just going to make it topple. My catcher needs to dust this guy. Really good security we have in this building. I do anything else before I go talk to him. I'm gonna go talk to him. Say, wake the fuck up. Hey, you wink? Hmm, probably for the best. Oh, really? What about touching this? Will that wake him up? Nothing? Wow. He is incredibly good at staying asleep. Let's just go to our room then. Okay, what's that? That's oh, my name tag. Damn thing fell off again. Do you know? I'm not gonna pick it up now. Damn thing fell off again. Oh. oh, okay, I can pause with space. Oh, what's that? Put it back in. 
How much longer is this gonna go on? Why is mine paper and everyone else's is uh, it's good? Uh, I took too long with the elevator. Okay. Oh. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, staying out of this. Have you? I'm staying out of it. <laughs> out of what? Not yet. Whatever I can suggest that I've seen her. Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. But maybe something is going on. You find out for yourself and let things play out. I'm going to avoid the question because I am not a marriage counselor. <laughs> I agree with you, Bigby. But I will pick my battles. When I have loads of information, then I will stand by decisions and back them. I ain't going into that without knowing the full story. Until Beauty tells me what the story is, and then I can get involved. Oh. Damn. Should have cracked a window. We got the freezer and the refrigerator. Let's see. I'm assuming he's going to get a beer out. That won't be stereotypical at all. Should have got a smaller one. No. Okay. I stand corrected. Oh. Damn it. I really wanted to eat some ice. God damn. Nothing else in there, I don't think. Okay. Blue beard. Bluebeard folder? I'm assuming that's going to be the main story. I have a pig. I have Colin. Colin. No, not again. I have a pig called Colin. Use Colin. I will absolutely not. That's hey, disgusting. Colin. Get up. I'm going to do it just out of interest, but... Oh, hey, Big B. Colin talks. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. You've enjoyed it while I've been in work. But the human gets to sit. Now you're just going to stare at me while I'm in the chair. Got a smoke? Oh, I thought the folder would have been the main story. Is this the main story? A pig is smoking with me. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. Because the wolf has got us. Three pigs. Wolf. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh He's air and the sunshine the pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. I have nothing to say. 
I... It probably also has something to do with how engaging you are in conversation. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Yes, fair. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Um, he came at Sometimes me with an axe, pig. To the farm. Behave yourself, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. I feel like the animals think there's think not much room for negotiation. Try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. Mm. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not no, not true. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. I was shitty to Toad and Beauty. Awesome, great example. I don't have to justify myself to you. Life is easier with friends, Big B. Hey, pig. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Snow Will White? You shut up. Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me yeah, a that drink, doesn't, please. That doesn't make Colin, sense. enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look. If I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Let's have the drink. Yeah, I'm assuming I can't really... You know, the animals thing is quite strict. I don't know what the farm's like. It doesn't sound yeah, very nice, but... A strict toad. I can't now be not strict with Colin. Have some rest. I didn't know this would trigger the story though. I wanted to look into the folder of Bluebeard, or whatever his name was. This should be the girl, right? Doesn't sound like the girl knocking. Where's Colin gone? Oh, I can't look at the folder anymore. Be here, is it? Big B. Snow. Huh? Come with me. Just leave your apartment Snow. open. It's fine. Snow. What? What's wrong? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. No. Hi. Hello. Good day. Good morning. Or. Evening. <laughs> yeah. Who might you be? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Hmm. Suspicious. What is that? Security jacket. Hmm? What? But he's still sleeping. You knew 
this girl? Is, oh my god. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... A working girl. There we go. She's got something in her mouth. A woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think I don't he... think he... I don't think anything yet. I think it's who she worked just, for. Give me a second. It's just... Terrible. Yeah, tell so, me what happened. Tell me what happened. Every detail. I wish there was more to tell. I left the office, walked past the security desk. Luckily, he was asleep. Grimble. Yeah. Then I opened the door and... I found her. Like this. I came to get you right away. And that's all? That's it. Sorry. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. I'll start with the thing that's in her mouth. Uh, I guess I'll leave that till last. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Well, in a world with bloody fable creatures, any sort of creature or monster would do this. What is? But what is this? This is what I want to see. It's... A ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Jeez. Oh, I'm gutted. That's my only friend. Blood trail. <sighs> I'm I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what... what do you want to do next? I want to investigate more. There's a blood trail. have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. I have a ring. Uh, yeah, this way. A blood trail. I hope I don't need to go look at anything else, because I'm committing to this one. Blood. Drops of blood. <laughs> I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. And then it went around the corner. Always look at the thing first, I think, before we'll picking out. Because you always said something, rather than just no context, pick it up. Fabric. Like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Well, a clue is a clue. There's blood on the top of the gate as well. Just some loose trash. Mm -hmm. Not everything's a clue. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yeah, you can say that again. Okay. That's some good evidence right there. What about the other side? Anything there? Wait. Oh. 
out if there's anything over here. Nope. Nope. So are you saying I can go back into the building? Where are you going? No. Are we done? Not yet. Uh, no, not yet. Last way to go is this way. Right, go over there? No. Oh, here we are. Nobody there. Okay, we're done. Oh, but I will show the fabric. What are you doing? No. Be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. I don't know what the message is, but a it's message? a message. I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? <sighs> the victim. She could be a symbol for something. So sad. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. Just wait a little wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. And I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. You do I just that. don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can exactly. find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Dr. Swinehart. What a name. It's that ginger guy again. Are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? You I've fight been me? standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Yeah, I can't fight everyone. Okay. Not everyone's gonna like you. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on yeah, our very doorstep. Me. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. What's your tone? You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around no here. No to blame. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? That's Suspects? not how it works. Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two I'm need to handle this the situation quickly the wood. and mm. quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Yeah. 
massage. Where oh, it's a bottle of crane. wine you were to purchase. He's the Sleepy Hollow guy. Don't the main bother. character in Sleepy Hollow. Can't do anything right. That's funny. Do your job, Sheriff. But yeah, my job we'll isn't to someone who can. prevent. <sighs> Just don't say anything. You haven't failed. If someone's got you murdered, it's to investigate it. You can't All prevent right. murders. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Yes, you should have. Gonna say I told you so. Yeah, you don't have I will. To say it. it would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Well, precisely. You're saying the things oh, that I Crane originally said. Crane doesn't like people smoking, and never mind. Smoke <laughs> away. Yeah, fuck Crane. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, oh. thankfully. Is he from the Wizard of Oz? Is he drinking? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Fine. Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Fine. Buffkin, get the books. Seems Which nice. books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Oh, I she knows Excalibur. the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. I need to look we'll at these fables. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Yeah, let me have a look at this book of fables. Ichabod Crane, hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been deputy mayor of Fable Town for nearly 115 years. Crane's a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously. Though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well-off citizens. Overall, Crane is authoritarian, cowardly, and always hiding something. And then, yeah, Buffkin... Is the talking winged monkey from the land of Oz. Now, as Fable Town's librarian, he spends his time reading and sealing the Deputy Mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so when something goes wrong, he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he'd rather be drinking. Someone would have fired him a long time ago, but he's the only one who can make sense of the filing system. Okay, and what is that? Oh, glamours are spells that allow these to change their appearance, so that makes the um, animals seem more human. Farm. This is where the animals go. They can't pass as human. Giants, goblins, animals. Okay, not just animals. Upstate New York, far enough away from the Mond Mondays to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement, despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could pitch the glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive, though. Some, like Colin, sneak out of the city anyway. Okay. Um... Snow White. Snow White may seem cold, but this stems from her life for mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. It wasn't long before Snow discovered that Charming cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red, and she divorced him. After the exodus, Snow focused her attention on setting up a safe haven for fables in the new world. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor. Beast. Beauty and his wife. Right, again. Beast and his wife Beauty left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He's able to get around Fable Town without glamour most of the time, but if Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute, growing horns and large teeth. Despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship with anyone in Fable Town. So, we can't have her shout at him and stuff because he'll turn into a beast. Uh, okay, they were forced to flee, leaving all their wealth behind. Now they live in a modest studio in Fable Town. Though times are hard, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have the longest lasting relationship of all the fables. Okay, so we've caught up a little bit there. Let's have a look around here Hello, for anything lady. of use. Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Magic is this the genie in Aladdin? Just lamps. After the genie's been freed. 
I'll touch it. I'll touch it. Or rub it. Worth a try. In it. Yeah, always worth a try. You can't not rub the bloody genie. Right, so the lamp, the mirror, uh, that snow. What? So I'll do the mirror last, because I'm assuming that is what I need to do. Snow's busy doing that. Oh, what's that? Tarot card. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. I'll be sure to let him know. Should we do a quick reading? There's only three cards, so these are my cards. I guess it comes in all forms. Mm-hmm. Next one. Nothing to say about that. Okay. And the last one. Strength, the tower. Damn. Ten of swords. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? Anyone want to tell me what that means? Okay, I've got them. Uh, okay. Let's have another quick look around. I don't think so, so I'm going to the mirror. Let's talk. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel but have some respect for our history and rules. I do like a rhyme. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. Mm -hmm. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? That was what I was wondering. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, hopefully Show we can go through all of them. Man. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Okay. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! God damn it, Buffkin. Show me Snow White. Not I mean, yeah. much of a request. Yeah. She's in this very room. I know, but I need to do all the I options. I know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Fine. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Someone new. Someone okay. New. That's worth knowing. <laughs> you did well. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Let's go have a... Oh, interesting. You know what In this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. It's worth a try. It was worth a try. So... So, so, so. So, so. Where have they gone? Let's go have a look at the Book of Fables. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. 
That is Ichabod Crane, because that is the Headless Horseman. And that's Ichabod Sleepy Hollow. Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, he's very clever. He's very smart. Well, maybe it's time that changed. This is Beauty and the Beast. That is my good friend. Alan and his brothers. Who's that? I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. Ooh. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. All right, well, I'm not done. Beast. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, yes. Hmm. Red Riding Hood. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Red. Hood's knight in shabby armor. Yeah, the woodsman. Right. Yep, and his axe. That's me. And there's me. <laughs> Not a good day. And there's snow. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. As your friends, dwarves. I said about that, the better. Hmm. Uh, right. I need to look for this emblem that was on the ring on that guy's outfit. But we'll look at everything else first. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Please. Yeah. Thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Oh, Bob, okay. Trying to say my guy. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Toad Hall. It is Wind Toad. in the Willows. I knew it. He probably wrote this okay. in himself. True. Uh, right. Where are we going, then? What's it say about that? It says Brickle Bit in an older elvish hand. What's Brickle Bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. Brickle bit. Oh, you definitely should have said it. Oh, well, you're the fucking monkey sitting next to you. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a oh, druid okay. blessing, druid actually. Blessing. Someone bless that thing. I only translate. I just want to look that? at each one, even if it's not the one that I want. It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. It says on the toad. Right, okay, so I've gone all the way that way, so now we can go the other way. This way now. And there it is. There it is. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairau? I'll go look it up. I swear to God, if you're drinking means again. every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, ask. Uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh. His daughter, Faith. Excuse me? She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. So What's her husband's skin. name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? 
I think we should talk to him. Yeah, I can't rule him out. Me at this point. We can't rule him out. Well, I'm done here. I don't know about you guys. Although, now we could go to the mirror. With the new information that we have. Wouldn't we? Mirror, mirror, blah, 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 able, blah, 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 about this fable. How, how do you skip? Blah, blah, blah. Of which fable do you wish to know? I now wish to know about Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. <gasps> What's he been doing? Well, I'd say he? he's killed Where's himself. What? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. You don't want to show Snow that he's self-harmed in this mirror? Right, Faith's father. Show me Faith's father. The old king. I should have predicted that. Guess that but he's still got his ring. Last. Yeah. And Faith herself. Show me oh, head. no, don't show me the head. Show me Faith. Don't you say this. Powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, really. It's simply the way this has to be. But she's outside. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yes. Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Sorry. I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Who is it? Bigby, it's me, Poe. You there? What yep. do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Why have you done that? Oh, we need to get what there. What was that about? We need to get there. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. He can I wait. Can really He's already him. dead. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No, no, I... For the record, I want to go to Toad Whenever now. Whenever you're ready. I would like to go to Toad now. I would like to go to Toad now. The other guy's already dead. I kind of feel bad for Toad. Did Toad say who was there? No. Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he All right. can see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Oh, I, I see, because we think that the, that weapon will be the one that... I... You may disagree. I think that that guy was laying on that chair as if he's, like, harmed himself. So I'm doing Toad's apartment. It's me, Toad. I'm doing Toad's Big apartment. Shit. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Here we go. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. I'm gonna be abrupt. I'm gonna cut it there. Uh, this video is already gonna be probably about an hour, so I'll leave it there for this episode, and I'll try and break it up in smaller chunks for, for for the rest of the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, subscribe if you're new, like the video if you enjoy the series, and if you want to see more, and then I'll know um, to upload these more frequently than my other games. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.